We're 24 hours away from the Seahawks' most recent win. A beatdown of the Santa Clara 49ers. And if you can't feel positive about that, I don't know what you can feel positive about. But if you are having issues with that, or maybe you just need a reinforcement of positivity, joining us right now on the Zeke's Pizza Hotline is Reverend Moses from the St. Paul Allen Church of Seahawk Positivity. How you doing tonight, Reverend? Yes, it is I, the self-appointed Reverend Moses of the St. Paul Allen Church of Seahawk Positivity. How are you gentlemen this evening? Doing great, great. doing great. How's it going? Oh, wonderful. And what a glorious time, isn't it? Absolutely. You had to beat Sunshine, down the 49ers. You kidding rainbows. me? <laughs> that feels Absolutely. great. Absolutely. Just, just one short, sweet day ago, we were watching our team pound the 49ers like they owed us some money. It was beautiful. <laughs> and, and poor Kaepernick throwing that ball so hard on the sideline, like someone told him he'd get a stuffed animal if he knocked over all the Gatorade buckets. <laughs> you think he got one? I, he might have. I know he got somebody in the face, and I think that was uh, that was an unfortunate situation. Yeah, you know, it bad. was Back to the Future week. Are you aware of the Back yeah. to the Future show? <laughs> yeah, I, I knew that, absolutely. Yes, and, you know, the Niner fans wanted to go actually back to the past 30 years when the came choking <laughs> out because they weren't so bad back then. But, but uh, it, weren't they sweet hosts at Levi Stadium? I mean, it was so nice and quiet for our offense. I, I actually sent them a thank you card. I did. I, really? I told them we'd, visit, we'd be back in a couple months, maybe in February. But, <laughs> but, but I digress. As, as always, I, 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 I'd like everyone to please say hello to my church organist, the one and only – Clea Londa Hawk. Clea Londa, honey, tickle that ivory like it's Cam Chancellor. Oh, sweetheart, there you go. Now, now honey, don't stand up. Uh, honey, don't twerk and play at the same time, please. It's embarrassing. That's unsafe. That's not uh, good for anybody. It's not good. Take a break, honey. She, <laughs> sadly, she had to once again change up her band. I know it, it, it happened again. Ah, what? It, well, you know, it's all fun and games with scary pranks this time of year until, yeah. Cle- until Clea Londa scared your new guitar player so bad he might never come out of the coma. <laughs> it, it, it's really sad. Look, I told her, I said, look, he does not want to see your milkshake bring all the boys to the yard, but she did not <laughs> listen to me. And now that poor sweet man is barely hanging on to life. We prayed for him. Oh, boy. But, but she did, of course, find a new guitar player in a new band. So uh, her new band name is called Little Cleo and the Carl Lester Crumplers. <laughs> and, oh, and that's they will perfect. Be, and they will be playing at the Smoking Lizard Bar and Grill this weekend. And, <laughs> and if you go, don't look anyone directly in the eye. I think that's all I have now, to say about I'm that. I'm concerned, Moses, because Cleo Londa Hawk, if she had that effect on her last band member, I mean, Carl Lester Crumpler, I mean, that's that's a former Seahawk. That's, I mean, you, yes. can't, you can't be having that kind of effect on him, can you? Well, it is a band name. It's yeah. just the band. Okay, all right, so, so he's not actually and, in the and band. She's running out of guitar players. Soon, you know, it's going to get around at the guitar center, and she's not going to have anybody. But <laughs> right right now, hopefully, this guy can stay at least a week or so. Yeah. Uh, friends, I, I am so glad to be once again joining you on the airways today as we celebrate a glorious division victory against a team, well, none of us really care for that much. An NFC West showdown that became a Seahawks throwdown. But as we celebrate, we cannot rest. Just because there's no Seahawk football this Sunday does not mean it is time to take a break. For Seahawk positivity does not rest. It continues to rise and rise and create a glow, a glow that we can all bask deeply in, a glow so bright that it kept some of those 49er fans home Thursday night, apparently. <laughs> on NBC. I, I understand. I mean, you can DVR Heroes Reborn and Blacklist, but then you have to pay off your smartphone till Friday <laughs> to avoid spoilers, and 49er fans can't have that. I get no, it. No, I understand. Yeah, well, you know they watch NBC because NBC is like their team. It stands for nobody being champions, and that's what's <laughs> going to happen to them. I'll draw you a map later. Either that or the Niner fans were there, and, and they were disguised as empty seats. I mean, Halloween is just right up here on the corner. I don't know. <laughs> but I do digress. We will not stop. We will not rest. We do not take a break. We are 12s. We are not 49ers, or more accurately, 9 to fivers. I guess. We stand tall in the warm glow of the power and feel its glory always because the power of Seahawks positivity never rests. Gentlemen, can you feel the power and the strength of Seahawks positivity as it rises up from you? Can you feel it? Yeah, I can feel yeah. it. Yeah. 
That's not the burritos. Now, this is Seahawk positivity. <laughs> I want you to close those eyes and feel that power. Go on. Close them. You're safe. Keep one hand on that phone, though, and the other on your money. And you've got to keep your hand on your money and your money in your hands. And as always, if you're driving down the road listening in, now don't be silly. Keep those eyes firmly on the road ahead where they belong. We love you. We want you to be safe. Now, if your eyes are closed, if they can be, and you believe in the power of Seahawk positivity, let's hear I'm in nice and loud. I'm in. Ah, uh, yes. And if you believe in the power to continue to guide us down the road to the promised land, let's hear an I'm in nice and loud. I'm in. If you believe the power to continue to shine brighter than ever and stronger than ever and take us back down to Levi Stadium in February, where God willing they're going to fix that terrible turf they have, Woo. let's hear an I'm in nice and loud. I'm, I'm in. in. Yes. That is the power, my brethren. Open up those eyes and give thanks for the power of Seahawk positivity. No football this weekend doesn't mean it's time to rest. It means it's time to be even more vocal in spirit. We're loud and proud, my 12. Rise and be heard, my brethren. Rise up in your minds, your bodies, and your voices into the one true power to lead us to the promised land. Clear, Londa, put down that funny-looking cigarette and play us off, honey. <laughs> this has been your self-appointed Reverend Moses of the St. Paul Allen Church of Seahawk Positivity. Go for it and spread the good word of Seahawk Positivity. Praise Larson. Praise Cortez. Praise Walter Jones. And as always, go Hawks. Wow. Well, I feel it now. If I wasn't feeling it before after last night's win, I feel it now. Let me tell you. Cleolanda Hawk with the Carlester Crumpler Band. <laughs> <laughs> Playing it to, with the lizard and... Uh, yeah, the... the uh, lizard and dragons? Well, I think like that's that? where they're playing on. That sounds like someplace you'd find out in Ballard. Yeah. That was fun. The, the Reverend Moses was spot on, though, about that turf. Oh, yeah.